so recently there's just been an article going around or a few websites saying that gta 4 may be confirmed to be released on the playstation 5 in 2021 now of course before i get into this video or get in depth this is just my opinion i could be wrong about everything i'm about to say but who knows this is just what i think could happen and my prediction for what's going to happen within 2021 in regards to rockstar games gta 4 and gta 6 so on one of these websites i'll be leaving this website in the link in the description you can go check it out for yourself this shows that bully 2 was actually cancelled so that means rockstar can focus on gta 6 personally me i don't i was kind of a big fan of bully but i would really prefer gta 6 as we've had los santos for the past seven years and i think this year could make it eight years so it's getting kind of like a boring map now it would be good to find something different to explore and stuff like that of course we recently got the new heist and that's something where everybody got angry at because you couldn't free roam on it but that was because everyone was jumping into conclusions because they didn't realize that once you complete the heist you can free roam on the island well not actually free roam on the island but you can go to the island without basically being on a mission so the next screenshot i'm about to show you is that this was taken off of the american version of amazon of course we got uk and we got america and we got different amazons but that's not the point this one was screenshot off the american amazon and it shows a picture of grand theft Auto 4 the complete edition so as you can see you got the ballad of gay tony you've got the lost and damned and you just got the original gta 4 and it's for 40 dollars but it says in green text april 29th 2021 is the release date now again we don't know if this is real or fake or not it does look very real so we never know rockstar could probably announce this in the future ahead of 2021 um but here's my thoughts on this now as to the reason why they are doing this so reason number one being is that of course they've lost a lot of money well, i wouldn't say lost a lot of money but they've spent a lot of money on buying so much music licenses and putting a lot of stuff into the recent newest heist that's been put into gta 5 where you can go to a different island and stuff like that but the main issue is that they've spent a lot of their money on the music licenses oops, sorry music licenses so that these artists can be played on the radios you know you've got different types of artists and different types of radio stations so of course it's going to cost a lot of money to put them on there now rockstar could be up to something now of course they've cancelled bully 2 just so they can make gta 6 personally i think a lot of fans would be a bit annoyed at rockstar if they were to release bully 2 rather than grand theft auto 6 because i know there is some bully fans out there you know it's not really a high popularity as gta fans out there but bully 2 if that was to be released rather than gta 6 i know some people or 20 percent of people who are rockstar fans would be very excited and the rest of the 80 percent would be majorly disappointed now don't get me wrong bully is a very good game i used to play it a lot of times on ps2 xbox 360 pc i, I really enjoy the game but i would prefer to have a grand theft auto 6 rather than bully coming out within 2022 or 2023 so now here's my theory the reason why rockstar have decided to if they are going to do this of course if they are going to release a gta 4 for 40 dollars or 30 pounds if they do this it's kind of smart and especially what date they are going to be releasing it at of course in that screenshot i showed you where the guy was buying it or someone was looking at it on amazon it said they were april 29th 2021 so of course april is kind of close towards the second half of 2021 i know it's still in the first half of 2021 but it's kind of close onto the second half rockstar did say on the second half of 2021 we will be getting a standalone version of grand theft auto online and we will be getting an enhanced and envisioned version of grand theft auto i god knows what that means i'm gonna ensure i'm gonna be sure and it means good graphics and um better performance play you know maybe 60 fps uh you know higher resolution all that stuff so of course we don't know specifically what month on the second half of 2021 that part or version of grand theft auto will be released i'm probably gonna guess and say august september times but of course i could be wrong no one knows yet because rockstar have not announced the release date of the new enhanced version of grand theft auto 5 so when it comes to the gta 4 now if this actually is real let's say if it was real it would be very smart on rockstar then because if they sell it for 40 dollars right knowing that they spent loads of money on music licenses this could be a good thing for gta 6 maybe and also for rockstar to have this development team pushing at a more faster rate to 
to release GTA 6. So if they was to release Grand Theft Auto 4 on the PS5, maybe Xbox Series X and S also, but I only seen PS5 screenshot, I haven't seen the other console. If they release this, they know that millions of people will buy it. The reason why millions of people will buy it is because they know that they are sick and tired of being in the same map for seven, eight years, roughly that. They don't want to be in LS no more. They want to go back to Liberty C. They want that nostalgia feeling. They want to go back and be able to drive around freely without getting blown up by a flying motorcycle or a truck that takes 46,000 RPG just to destroy it. Like they don't want to be having that kind of experience. They want to have a normal calm experience. And of course, it's something new after how many years of being able to uh, uh, sorry after how many years of not actually being in liberty city because everyone's moved on to ps4 and xbox one and all that stuff now they can actually finally experience it but of course they would make loads of sales very quickly they'll get loads and loads of money from their fans of course because everyone wants to go back to gta 4 personally me if they release this tomorrow for 40 pounds or 40 dollars i would buy it straight away i'm very bored of gta 5 i'm not gonna lie to the point where there's really nothing you can do you just fly around terrorize people on a flying motorcycle or a very strong armored truck that can shoot bullets from the front of it it's just all boring it's all the same thing over and over and over again so i want to go back to gta 4 i want to have that old feeling back it will just bring back so many memories if you was to go back on that game so now let's say rockstar did make this official and they've sold millions and millions of copies they've just got back you know i'll say some of their money from all the music licenses and stuff they put into the newest heist and so forth so now it's the second half of 2021 now and they know they now know that they've just released a game which is very old they've released it for the next generation consoles they've just got so much money now so they're good but now they want to get even more money so they're going to make you charge probably 50 dollars or 50 pounds um for the new gta enhanced version for the next gen consoles once everyone buys that now because they want to see what the experience is it's, it's rockstar they're toxic you may hate them because they're taking so long to release this game or do this to this game at the end of the day you're always gonna buy it because you know you can't that like, it's irresistible gta 5 is irresistible of course maybe not for everybody but for some people so once they release the enhanced version of it everyone's gonna buy the game after everyone buys the game now again for like the full third time they're gonna get even more money then once they get even more money what's gonna happen is that they can put all that money they got from the gta 4 enhanced edition and the gta 5 oh sorry no the gta 4 complete edition and the gta 5 enhanced edition they've got so much money they can put all that money into gta 6 which could be a good thing because then that means gta 6 could be in a faster production rate than it already is we might be seeing gta 6 at personally me i'm gonna say they're gonna announce it in 2021 they're gonna announce it this year but they're not gonna release gta 6 until like 2022 october that's my theory i could be wrong but i know a trailer is gonna come out for 2021 100 percent around past october times a trailer will be out for gta 6 2021 and they're gonna release gta 6 late 2022 if not late 2022 before march 2023 i can be 100 sure on that Oh, of course i don't believe it's gonna be out in a trailer might come out in 2023 and then the game will come out in 2025 that's way too long that's like 14 13 years this year could mark it, it could be eight nine years since the last gta they're not gonna make it a double digit will they actually do that and if they do actually make a double digit wait for 10 years that's a decade since the last grand theft auto we've spent playing the same map but of course rockstar may give us gta 4 back we've spent nearly 10 years years or nine years playing the same map just for them to delay even more like by then they have to give us a trailer of what we're going to be experiencing next because then that's when everyone can get hyped i know gta 6 will be a very big game changer it's going to put a lot of people and it's going to go international it's going to go worldwide when this is released but of course this is all my theory this is just my thoughts on this um we'll have to see what happens in regards to gta 4 it will be really good to play on the playstation 5 because i really do miss gta 4 and i don't really want to go back onto an old console just to play it let alone no one will probably be online anyway so it would be good to have a nice um refreshed gta 4 for me to play on the next generation consoles i can have that feeling that nostalgic feeling back again it's gonna be fun hopefully it is confirmed and it is official by rockstar games but 
I hope you guys did enjoy this video and please if you guys would be so kind as to leave a like on this video and also subscribe if you're new and I'm out.